Hi everyone, Gemma here. Thanks for watching today. In today's video, we're going to be making a book shape card and matching display gift bag. So let me talk you through what I'll be using today. So I have the 8x8 paper pad from the Creative Cuts collection. This is no longer available in this form, however, it is available in a digital download. Then from the new collection, I have the new Home Editions die set, the Bookmark and Wax Seal Stamp and Die Set, the Pop-Up Book Mechanism die set, and then I'm also going to be using the Pop-Up Bouquet Sentiment Stamp Set. So I'm going to break this project down into two sections. So the first I'll go through the, the book style card and then I'll go through the gift bag. So to make the card, you need to cut two pieces in the largest die and I've cut that in white cardstock. That's those there. Then in the next die down, I've cut one piece in the yellow pattern paper and another piece in this floral pattern. I've skipped this die here and then I've gone for these last two dies in white cardstock and I'm going to be stamping on this one. And then to add an extra layer to the book, I've cut a piece of eight and three quarters by six and a quarter. I've taken the largest die, I don't know if you can see that, and I've just um, lightly drawn around it and I'm gonna fussy cut that out. So I'm going to start by fussy cutting my card base in this pink cardstock. I'm just going to place my white piece over the top just to see how that's looking. I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to take off any pencil marks that are left behind. So now I'm just going to add a curve into the cardstock. And I'm going to start uh, attaching my pieces together. So I'm just going to run a bead of glue along the centre here. And there's a slight difference in this die. So you'll see that there's more of a curved shape at the top and less of a curve at the bottom. So if you have them the wrong way, for example, let me just hold that up to you. Obviously the mat and layer won't match. So just be mindful of that when you're attaching everything together. So I'm gonna attach these pieces last because I want to stamp on them first. So I'll pop them to one side. I'm going to attach these two pieces together and this will go on the back of the card for you to write your sentiment. Actually, I don't want to add any dimension along this, so I'm just going to add some more glue to the side pieces there. And I'm going to use this to hide um, the ribbon that I want to attach around the centre of the book. So I'm going to set those pieces to one side and I'm going to work on stamping my sentiments. So this is the right hand piece, so I'm going to have happy blooming birthday on that one. And on, on the left hand side, I'm going to have I'm glad I picked a friend like you. So while they're drying, I'm going to return back to my card base. And I'm going to add some foam pads into each of these layers here, just to give it that um, definition. So I've got these white foam pads from Creative Craft Products. So I've gone hunting in my stash and I've picked out 
these three pieces of ribbon which I'm going to place in the center here so I've just started with a white layer and I'm going to make sure that there's enough to be covered up by the white cardstock and pattern paper and then I'm going to do the same for the pink and wrap it round then I took a piece of the white ribbon and tied it round um, threaded the love heart charm through there and tied it in a bow now I'm going to attach this on the back so then everything will be hidden underneath and I'm going to use some foam pads because of the height of the ribbon there now I'm going to work on the rest of the decoration on the front there so now that I've placed that over the top I feel like we're losing a lot of the pattern paper and I want it to be on display a bit more so I've brought in the wiper mechanism die set and he's got these two squares here so they can be used for photographs on your wiper but I think I could use this to cut these down so we can see more of that pattern paper so I'm just going to go ahead now and tack them into place with some washi tape and run them through my die cutting machine now I'm going to work on finishing the decoration so off camera I've prepared some flowers using the new home editions die set the flower ones and some flower forming foam and just added some stamen in the center there and I'm just going to start to arrange these now um, on the card so I'll pop you on high speed while I do that Then I'm going to bring in some vintage Nouveau drops. So I've got the chalk stick and the dusky rose. And I'm just going to pop a few along the outside. So there we go. I'm just going to set that to one side now and let it dry. Um, and we're going to prepare the stand so it sits upright and the gift bag. To make the gift bag you need two pieces of ten and a half by seven and a half along the ten and a half side you're going to score at nine and ten then rotate and score at one so what i've done with my other piece is i've gone ahead and i've cut the aperture and i've used the largest book shape die so I thought that'd be quite cute you could see inside and look at the the card on display I've also used the same die and sorry this is the second largest die I've used for the to cut the aperture and then I've used the largest and the second largest and attached them together to create this frame which will go over the front here. I'm going to cut a piece of acetate to eight by six and I'll pop that behind there. So before I fold and burnish along the score lines and do any cutting, you know me, I like to work on a flat surface. So I'm gonna work on the aperture piece and first attach the acetate to the inside of the gift bag so I'm going to run red tape along all four sides so I've attached my acetate piece next I'm going to attach the frame so I cut an additional piece in the white cardstock just to help strengthen that frame so I'm going to attach them together using some collal glue 
and then attach them to the front. So I'm going to set that to one side and let that dry and work on this piece here. So we're going to fold and burnish along the score lines. We're going to take our scissors and with the half inch and one inch score lines here on the right hand side, we're going to cut up the first score line to the first score line there. And then cut up the second score line to the first score line and remove this rectangle piece. And then we're going to take a little wedge off this piece, the top here and the bottom there, so then that creates a tab. And we're going to do exactly the same cut in then on the other piece. And then we're going to attach these pieces together. So I'm adding quick grab glue along this tab here. So I flipped it over, I'm going to add quick grab glue along this tab here and then I'm going to fold this piece over and then using some Kalal glue I'm going to place the bottom piece in first. Add some glue to the tabs there. Pop those down. And then add Kalal glue all along this piece here. And that's part of the gift bag complete there. So we just need to add some decoration. So I've got some spare flowers left. I'm just gonna attach those to the top there. And then we'll finish off by adding the handles. In my stash, I found these paper strings. I think they're from Hobbycraft and I'm gonna use these as the handles for the bag. So I'm going to place them just there like so. So I'm just going to hot glue them into place. So there's both my handles attached and my display bag complete. So I'm just going to set that to one side and work on the stand now and then we'll bring everything back together. So to make the stand I've cut two pieces of seven by five and three quarters. Along the seven inch side I've scored at three and a half and I've attached both pieces together using some Kalal glue so that's nice and strong now. I've taken my ruler and a pencil and from the open edge I've come in one inch and gone up one inch. I've then joined those two points together and from that point there, I've added a diagonal line to this top corner edge. Then following on from the one inch marker, I've come up a quarter of an inch and made a mark. And to come in a quarter of an inch, joined those together. So then we've got this sort of shape here. So with the both pieces attached, I'm just going to now cut this piece out of the cardstock. So I'm going to use my larger scissors for this edge here. Now bearing in mind I am cutting through four pieces of cardstock together. I'm 
and then I'm just going to continue the shape might need my small scissors for that one So you're now left with a shape like this. So obviously the stand will open like so and hold the card in place. I'm just gonna tidy my edges up a little bit because I'm not very happy with those. It's a bit better. Remove any remaining pencil marks. When I was gluing the two pieces together, I made sure that they dried in the folded position so that it won't really go any further than that. It won't open flat. So there's the final project. I've added the tag there and the letter S and a butterfly and tied that on the top there and obviously you can see the card inside but I'll bring that out for you bring it a little closer to the camera so you can see all the detail and then we have the stand and it just stands up like so You can write your message on the back. You can add another piece of uh, white cardstock if you wish. I'm just going to leave that as it is for now. So I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. I was inspired by Sam's Book of Tricks tutorial. So let me know what you think in the comments below. So if you've enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up or comment on the video or consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future tutorials. Any products will be listed in the description box below. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!